To access the setup menu on the Tech 1, you'll need to locate the locksmith jumper pins. Take the remote out of the housing and look on the bottom right hand side. You just need to short the pins for a brief moment to access the menu on the front panel. Here I have a Tech 1 and we have shorted the locksmith pins to enter its setup menu. The first item in the menu, which looks like a name tag, is where we can set the device ID. I could set the device ID right from the remote if I wanted to, but I could also set it in device maintenance. The next item is where we set up the network. We can change the host name of the Tech 1, and we can also change the IP settings of the Tech 1. The other items are setting a lock code. So this is a code that the user would have to enter before they could actually use the front panel. We can also adjust the display's brightness and contrast. Once we have stopped using the Tech 1, we can adjust how long do we wait till the lock code is enabled, how long before the screen dims, or how long before we shut off the display entirely. The last items are some information about this particular Tech 1, its serial number, MAC address, firmware version, and host name, as well as IP information, or we can set it back to factory default settings.